Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, it's reference round table time. Yeah. Usually there's three of us here, but Michael is gone today. So you're stuck with me, Lacey, and Sarah. And we have something different today. <laughs> I, I can definitely <laughs> say that we've never done this before. So if it goes really well, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And I take full responsibility. <laughs> If it goes terribly, it was Michael's it was idea, Michael's and yeah. <laughs> so you can direct your, your comments towards him if it goes terribly. <laughs> yes. Um, so mm -hmm. this week, we, I don't even know what to call it. The, the envelope says <laughs> spooky free association. Um, yes. And so basically, if you've ever played like a word association game, what Michael did was he left us this very beautifully, it's probably really hard to see. Oh, it is. <laughs> but decorated envelope here for us and there are like Halloween spooky words on slips of paper in this envelope and we're supposed to pull them out and say what book this word makes us think of so like I said <laughs> we'll who, see. who knows how Michael it's gonna go I was jealous because he'd not gotten to leave us an envelope yet yes so it was his turn so this so. was his idea and it says on the front he drew a very spooky ghost it's not that spooky <laughs> it's um, kind of cute <laughs> this envelope is hexed if you open it early a curse shall befall you and it has spooky hands on the back and we, and we did, did not we did not open still it still sealed so still taped <laughs> so we're not going to be cursed or anything no. like that but i am going to open it now because it's time. yes this should be interesting. And yeah, play along if you want to, please. Yes. We will add you into the conversation because we don't know how long that this is going to take. We don't know what's going to We have no idea. So, we might not be able to think of anything. <laughs> so like I said, there are, I can, I can, I, I opened it and I actually can't see the words, but I can see the slips. Mm -hmm. So there, oh my, he, there's a ton. There's a lot of okay. slips. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how far we um, get. <laughs> so yes, please join in. We are going to pull out, like I said, pull out um, a word say what book it makes us think about um and yeah if you think of things too join in so yes, i guess you should start with the first one since i've okay. done all the talking so far let's see <laughs> i dropped one and okay oh this and is already says... really difficult we have smelly. smelly what is that the stinky cheese man oh <laughs> the stinky cheese man <laughs> I, th I don't even know. Is that the whole title? Yeah, I think he cheese me. Yeah, it's a there, book. There, there might be like it might be like the story of the or the parable or something. The tale of the stinky cheese the stinky man. Cheese man. That's <laughs> I love that actually. I can't I I can't think of anything. So I'm I'm gonna go with that. Yep, the stinky, stinky cheese, cheese man. man. <laughs> I totally remember, I think I remember that book coming out. I think because I just remember seeing it like at the book fair. Oh yeah, I remember seeing up. it. Yeah, so. I remember it was super popular. Gosh, that was good. Goofy books. I already feel like you're gonna rock this. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> okay, so next next word. Escape. Mm. Escape. I already have one for this. The okay. final girl. Oh. Uh, Riley Sager. Because the final girl. I actually think we talked about this last week because it was one of the newly returned books. Oh. Um, but the final girls are. Um, like, you know, in horror movies, there's always, like, one person at the end. Everyone else dies, gets murdered horribly. There's always one person that that escapes, and that's the final girl, whoever's oh, left. So yeah. that's what made me think final of escape. I, they make it yeah, alive. <laughs> that's a good one. I guess mine is a true story, and I don't know the real, like, the actual title of the book, but mm -hmm. it's about J.C. Dugard, who was oh, in captivity yes. for like 13 yeah. years and she finally escaped. That is a very good escape So one. I remember I read that story and it's, that kind of stuff fascinates me. That, that sounds to be missing for that That long sounds like if you want something so. spooky, that sounds it's, pretty it's, horrible. It's, it's sad, actually. Oh, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clowns. It. it. <laughs> is, is there another book to talk about when it comes to Scary clowns? and clowns? Yeah, I've <laughs> never read that. I have either. seen like 10 minutes of the movie and I was like, no more. I've seen the new, the book is the first huge, part of the new isn't one. It? Yeah. Isn't the book like a the movie, <laughs> the original movie was like a TV, made for TV movie, like special, I think. And it was in like, like a series. Oh yeah. Maybe it was only right. two parts, but then even the new movie, it was like volume one and the volume 
volume two. I've seen the volume one. Mm. I, I don't like clowns on a good day, so a scary clown is just yeah. the worst. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of clowns. Uh, okay. Gothic. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by mm. Shirley Jackson, I think. Yeah. That one is like, it doesn't even take place in gothic times, but it's just, it's very much like a gothic story. It's these, mm. these sisters that live in a house and... Yeah, it's just like jars <laughs> and bad things happen. It's just kind of a gothic mm. sort of story. So. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Hunchback of Notre Ed, Dame. Ed oh, Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. The telltale Heart. Yes. <laughs> Very good gothic sort yeah. of stories. <laughs> Lost. Lost. Hatchet. Hatchet. Oh, Because he yeah. gets lost. In the wilderness, I think yeah. most people like 40 and under probably have read Hatchet. Yeah, <laughs> About, or like Julie of the Wolves. I remember. Oh, she, doesn't she yeah. like get lost with a... Like, I don't know if I ever read that, but I, I, I know I've heard that. of it. And she gets stuck with like, a wolf. That must have been a thing in the 80s and 90s, <laughs> like kids getting kids lost. Kids getting lost in the places. wilderness. That's, if you think about it, that's terrifying. <laughs> I, I used to like, you know, because I like I said, I read red hatch and i used to think like oh yeah i could survive in the wild i, I could not no nope, eight-year-old me was too confident i could not Ooh, candy that's a hard one well charlie and the i was just factory. about to say i was like charlie and the chocolate factory is about all i got mm. nothing else really makes me think of candy, candy. like for scary or good just that no, I'm trying to think if there's any like memoirs I've read of anyone named Candy. No, I don't think so. <laughs> nope. That, we're going to go with some roll, well, some roll doll. At least we you found beat at it. Least we thought a, a is one. It, is it, I'm like totally losing track. Is it your turn or my turn? I don't know. I think I don't did know. Candy. I it's don't know. fine. <laughs> Mask. Mask. Oof. <laughs> Mask um, of the Red Death. Boom. Mm. Another Edgar Allan Poe. I think he's going to come up a bunch today. What's that man he's in the my... iron mask? Is that one? What is that? Is Maybe that's one. Is, wasn't that, that? I know it's a book. Wasn't that written by like, um, was it Dumas? The guy mm -hmm. that wrote uh, Lake Town Monte Cristo? Yeah. The man in the iron mm -hmm. mask. That's what it is. Yeah. We're doing yeah. we're doing good at this. We're doing yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> They're minimal. We Especially... haven't thought of like tons for any of them, but. <laughs> oh. Oh. How? How did we yep. not think Phantom of, of the that? Opera. Yeah, the opera. that's a good one Very masky. Yes. <laughs> I was like, mask, like the Jim Carrey movie. And I was like, I don't, I don't oh, know. My like first so thought was cool. like the one with Cher and Sam Elliott. Oh, and yeah. Jim, what, what's the, the guy that played Eric? I don't know. Eric Stoltz? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I'm masked the movie. Yep. Okay. Ancient. Ooh, ancient. Ancient. I'm trying to think of like a book that's like an ancient sort of theme. I was like Da Vinci the Code, Skis, but that's the not Dead Sea it. Scrolls, or <laughs> yes, that's, that's ancient. That's pretty ancient. Um, yeah, the Da Vinci Code, but yeah, I mean they talk about ancient things. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Right, we're doing better in some than others. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna keep marching on. <laughs> Murderous. Oh, that's like all of the books that, that Sarah reads. Books. Yeah, I'm like I could think of a ton for that. What's the most recent murder book? You've read? Um, I just read the newest uh, Alice Feeney. It's called oh. Daisy Darker. It's pretty murderous. I'm. You know what? I'm just going to talk about this because I could want to. But I'm actually reading a book. It's called. It's. I think it's called The Apparitionists. It came out a while ago. I want to say like four or five years ago. And it's about spirit photography. Oh. And basically it came around in kind of around the time of the Civil War. And basically they they kind of figured out a way to mess with the photo plates when they took pictures. Oh. So it would kind of like there'd be a photo of somebody, but it would look like somebody was like standing behind oh. them or standing next to them. And some that's creepy. Some <laughs> photographers made a lot of money. Because, especially because it wasn't the time of the Civil War, 
a lot of people were dying, unfortunately, oh, yeah. because of the Civil War. So it really like took off, and it's a book all about that. Oh. I'm only like probably like a thirty three percent of the way through, like a third, but it's really interesting because they're also talking about like spiritualism, which was kind of a religious wave that kind of came around at the same time. So that's interesting, and mm. it's a lot about the history of photography. That so sounds really interesting. A little bit of everything. Wow. And I unintentionally started reading it in October. Not even realizing it was spooky. So nice, perfect. All right, me. I had murderous. All right, midnight, 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 midnight in the garden of good and evil. Isn't that a book? Yes, and I've read that one. I've I think I read, read that. that. Yeah, because it's, it's a, true like a true crime. crime. Mm -hmm. It's um. Where was it? It was in Louisiana? No, it was like South Carolina. Yeah, wasn't it? it was the South. Charleston? I can't remember. I think it was in Charleston. It's good. It was, it was a good book, though. Good. And I think they turned it into a movie. That sounds familiar. I think it's a movie. That, yeah. <laughs> Rats. Rats. <laughs> no. Rats. Um, I'm thinking um, of, I think it's another role of Doll, The Witches. Oh. Don't the, they like turn yes. into rats? They turn things. like kids into rats. Yeah, nice. that's what it is. Willard. Willard. Is that a book or just a movie? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I was actually thinking of? It was, um, I just watched the Muppets Take Manhattan. Oh, and I was thinking of like, Rizzo the movie. Rat. <laughs> Love that movie. They go run so, around the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was definitely thinking of the Muppet Rats. <laughs> Willard is definitely rat based and very terrible. I try to stay away from rat things, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, crypt. 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 Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Matt, not, not a book. Not Willard, a book. I didn't think Willard was a book, but you never know. Crypt. crypt. I just, I, the only thing I can think of is Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. But I, don't know. I don't know. Midnight is Savannah, Georgia. Oh, okay. That's I knew right. it was in the South. Yeah, that's right. But I was wrong. <laughs> Savannah, Georgia. I remember the the descriptions in that book, A Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, being very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I remember as I was reading it, I was like, I'd like to visit this town. <laughs> I've always wanted it to sounds go to cool. Savannah. Yeah. So thank you, Harriet. Yes. Um, I got nothing for Crypt. Like, no. Again, I'm like maybe the Da Vinci Code. Didn't they like, like go, go into, into like a tomb? Yeah, like yeah. Tomb is like adjacent to Crypt. That's always a good one to to fall back. Yeah. On. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> castle. We already talked about I, that. I always we already used the my. We have always lived in the castle. Are there any other castle-y stories castle. that I've read? I'm sure. I've got nothing. Like Rapunzel. Rapunzel. <laughs> she definitely lives in a castle. She definitely. You can't. You gotta. You're, you're not gonna live in a tower unless you're in a castle. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I guess we're oh, moving on. Ooh. Spiders. Spiders. Ooh. The scary stories to <gasps> tell in the dark. Yes. How the girl gets like a little bite. I have never forgotten that. <laughs> nope. It's like scary stories for like, I think like middle grade, like yeah, like middle schoolers. I love those books, but they were Ooh, creepy. horrifying. You know what else I was thinking about? Um, Lord of the Rings. In Lord of the Rings, there's a gigantic, like room sized spider. So that is also that what terrifying. I thought of. Because that was like my least favorite part of Lord of the Rings. Uh, that sounds terrifying. Yeah, let's move on from spiders. All right, moving on from spiders. To venomous. That was a that was a nice segue from spiders to venomous. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, I think of snakes. Yeah, I think of snakes, but I don't, I don't really like read snake books. Nope. <laughs> venomous. I'm trying to think oh. of like poisonings. Yeah. I got nothing for that. Nope, one. I got nothing either. I All right, I would not read a snake book. Moving on. I'm sure Michael would either. <laughs> No, so I'm, I'm surprised <laughs> that I haven't pulled out of snakes yet because Michael does not like snakes. So that would no. be definitely a spooky word. <laughs> isolated. Oh, isolated. Isolated. Hmm. That makes me think of that book called Broom. 
Ooh. where they're like, isn't like yeah. a mom and a kid? And she like trapped. gets kidnapped yeah. and like locked in a room. Yeah, that yep. is. Yep, scary. You, you won that. You won isolation there. I don't have a better mm. one for that. <laughs> yeah. I Other guess. than maybe hatchet. Hatchet. Is again. <laughs> <laughs> or um, what's the Tom Hanks movie? Oh, um, <laughs> it's Cast Away. Cast, cast away. away. I, I know it's just a movie, but I kept trying to say like Stranded. And I kept I thinking like, Wilson because that's like the little thing you talk yeah. to. But. <laughs> Ooh, vampire. So Twilight. Nice. Of course. <laughs> of course you have to say Twilight, but of course you have to say the original kind of fad interview with a vampire. Yeah. Anne Rice. Anne Rice yeah. is the queen yeah, of the she vampires. Is. So yep. I wasn't mean that, was, wasn't there Queen of the Damned? That was another like Yep. That's another vampire. Anne Rice. Yep. She has, I think, a whole series yeah, of she does. Lestat, the mm-hmm. vampire. Yeah. And of course you've got Bram Stoker's Dracula, which yeah started it all and a million other like romance we have lots books. of vampire books at the library a ton of lots them. yeah not as many as we used to they kind of that died like down huge but thing for a while Ooh, dungeon i was it's like kind of like man in the iron mask like he got locked in the dungeon yeah who else got locked in the dungeon well we did mention the count count of monte cristo he got locked away for, mm-hmm. for many years. I think on an island? I think he was on an island, wasn't he? I don't know. I've never been close. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen the movies. <laughs> yeah. I've never actually read the book, but no. I have seen a few of the different movies. Yeah. I can't think of anything else for Dungeon. Other than Dungeons and Dragons, of course. <laughs> Bat. Bat. <laughs> I, mm. I don't like that. So. I mean... Uh, most obviously, there's of course Batman comics. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Batman. I'm trying to um, think of. Other I know there's kids that books like... that have like that. There's some like I have no idea what the names of them are, <laughs> but <laughs> I wouldn't read them anyway. <laughs> no, oh, Maddie. Sarah loves bats. No, <laughs> that is untrue. <laughs> That's untrue. And I know. I that. actually think bats are really cute. But oh. only if they are very safe distance away from me. I I don't want to see them up close in their I don't want to see them at all. <laughs> Ooh, this one is very, like, vague and open. Cold. 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 Honestly, oh. what I think of is Truman Capote in Cold Blood. When oh, I see that. yeah. I mean, he really, like, <clears throat> kind of kicked up. his. Well, his book is different. I mean, it's kind of because it's like fiction, nonfiction, isn't it? That scared it? me. It's um, in cold blood. It's like based on an actual murder, but it yeah. kind of like adds some stuff in. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of facts, but it's yeah, not like a straight up nonfiction. So yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I, I was thinking of like the children's blizzard. That, that that's what is, I think of when I think of like that's cold. That's a good book, but that is sad. Oh, mm-hmm. That's a sad book. Yeah, that's sad. Cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing? There's a, quite a few. Curse. <laughs> Curse. Mm. Oh. Let's see. That a book I read like last year around this time was called the I don't know. The Inheritance of Orchidia Divinia. Yeah. That was kind of like a, a curse type thing on their family. And it was real spooky. The grandma like the mom, the grandma, she like dies and turns into a tree and like I don't know. Cool. It's very much like I do a family curse. Yeah, it's that it's very interesting. What do we got here? Hamster Princess series, Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know which one that's for. Curse? Bats oh, cur- oh, curse! I bet because Little Red oh, Riding Hood, Curse of the Were Hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, uh, Maddie should apparently have joined us. Yeah, today. <laughs> I have no idea what any what that is. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. What else we got in here? Regret. Mm. That's like that's a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Regret. Hmm. Something's like popping up, popping in my head. You know what I actually, that makes me think of, and, and this is like totally me putting my own thoughts into it, but it makes me think of that book we all read together, The Three Girls from Bronzeville. Oh, yeah. 
Because it's very one. much, uh, and I'm not even saying the author is looking back with regret, but she very much looks back at her life and the life of, of her sister and her, her um, best friend. And I think we can't help but sometimes wish like we had done I've things done. different. Yeah. You know, not even that you sit and dwell on it, but you know, yeah, there's definitely like, some things I would do differently if I could go back. <laughs> that's a good example. I was definitely thinking like a memoir. Where yeah. They talk about what they could have done or something. So, And it was just a one. really good book. So. That was really good. <laughs> All right. Murky. Murky. That makes me think of our other book we talked about, The Madness at the End of the oh, Earth. Yeah. Murky water. Murky water. <laughs> All water is murky. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> any water is murky when you're at like in the middle of nowhere in the Antarctic, yeah, right? <laughs> Definitely, mm, that's a good one. That would have been a good one for cold as well. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe regret <laughs> and regret. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Oh, blood. That blood. seems very well in cold blood. Now we almost have the title. <laughs> yeah blood i mean mm -hmm. you, that makes me think of like vampires you know like Dahmer. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> i couldn't help it <laughs> any true crime, any true crime. Blood. that's yes that's very fitting for any true crime uh, book, i think yeah <laughs> all right we just got a few more here cruel That makes me think of like, like oh, Maddie said for blood, Carrie. Oh yeah, yep, definitely. That was a good one. Honestly, Carrie's a good one for cruel as well. Yeah, teenagers are cruel. Yeah, <laughs> or like wonder. That makes me think yeah. of wonder because that that's very heartbreaking. And yeah, kids are very cruel. So yeah, morbid, 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 <laughs> Dahmer. Dahmer. <laughs> Um, any true crime? Yeah, any yeah. of the true. <laughs> John Wayne Gacy. Um, ooh, a good one for that is uh, what is the H. H. Holmes one that Eric Larson wrote? Oh, uh, oh, I know I what I can see I the know. cover. I can see Devil it. in the White City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like that. That that is a morbid book and it's disturbing and it's really well written and it's a really interesting story. Like it, it'll keep yeah. you up though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Serpent. I don't know. <laughs> Serpent. The book of Genesis. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. The Bible. I don't, I don't like snakes either, so I don't no. really read books mm -hmm. that focus I got nothing. around snakes. <laughs> oh, we're, we're down there. Autumn. Oh. Autumn. Autumn. There's so many. Book that's like fall. That um, This Close to OK by Lisa Cross Smith is like oh. set in a weekend in October, and it's very like cozy. and That's, that's it's a very, very good autumn. One. It's very autumn. That's a good one. Yep. Think of anything else? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I got, I got nothing for Autumn. Haunted. Haunted. <sighs> My best friend's exorcism. That's very you said haunted. You Telltale Heart. That's Telltale a very heart. Like, scary haunted yep. thing. Um, if you want Haunted, you can't go wrong with Edgar Allan Poe. Like, his yeah. stuff isn't even, like, obviously it's not, like, gory or anything like that. But it, it's, like, it stays with you. They're very, like, yeah stories. They're creepy. Do we have, oh, this is the last one? more. Beast. <laughs> Beast. Beast. <laughs> that reminds me, I don't even know what the titles are, but Alice Hoffman, have you ever read any of her books? I don't know. She I always know has we... like very like beastly men, creatures, <laughs> <laughs> very like magic realism type things. So I didn't want to say Beauty and the Beast, but the, her books are kind of like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it made me think of. <laughs> Hound of the Baskerville. <laughs> I'm really liking the classic stuff that I can yeah. follow back on. <laughs> Hound of the Baskerville uh, is a Sherlock Holmes story. So, yeah, that was quite That's a list. Nice. Yeah, it really was. It was we pretty much the stuff for most of them. I think, so I'm yeah, pretty proud of us. I think so too. I was kind of worried. I was like, we're just gonna sit there and be like, I, I don't know. <laughs> 
We only had to do that a couple times. We did pretty good. We did pretty Serpent good. was hard. Crypt was hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of them that were like. Yeah. Or like clowns. Yeah. What can you say to that besides yeah. it? Some like... of them were too easy. <laughs> so, but that was fun. Yeah, I that should was definitely good. do that again with a different themes. And so, yeah. So let us know what you guys thought of that. Yeah, keep or if you have any your, themes for keep us. Keep sharing your spooky, yeah. your spooky recommendations too. So. Yeah, we like definitely. To hear those. Definitely, October is the perfect time for that. So. And I don't know what we're gonna do next week. Maybe new books. Maybe. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have some by then, and we can do new books finally. Yeah. And then Michael has his pick for our book of the month. Um, has he announced it yet? I don't know. I don't think I, so. It's, it, we're doing a Britney Spears book, and Lacey and I were both like, mm. but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's called Being Britney. Shh, don't tell him we said that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll know if he watched it now. <laughs> but yeah, it's called Being Britney. I honestly can't tell you who the author is. Uh -huh. and, but it should be an interesting discussion of yes, pop culture. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for tuning in, and we will definitely be back next Thursday at 3.30, maybe with some new books to talk about. So, yeah, we'll see you all then. Bye. Bye-bye.